back for video number two for my Halloween triple threat uh, easy looks that you can create. Um, I've just, I've got to admit, the last video that I did, the comic book one, it took me ages to get the makeup off my face. Basically what I use to take off my makeup now is pure coconut oil and I use that and a really damp warm flannel and it just took forever to get the lines, the eyeliner the felt tip oil liner off my face, off my nose, and there was just dots everywhere and so all. But I had so much fun filming that. So, uh, this next look is, as you can tell, a leopard. So, I'm going to be doing like a really easy leopard print look. Uh, what I'm going to do is do some leopard spots around here, and then do some whiskers and that. And uh, it's really, really easy to do. So, I'm just going to get started to get into it. Um, again, I'm going to use the uh, 123 Perfect CC Cream from Bourgeois so I'm just going to use that to create a, a pale looking base and again I'm going to use my fingers to do this because I've got another look to come up and I'm going to use some makeup brushes and it's just I ain't got that many that I can use to uh, create the look so I'm just going to go right in with my fingers and just blend it into my face Seal palette from Micro Revolution just to get rid of those dark circles because they are an absolute pain in the bottom. So from Michael Revolution just to create a base on my eyes. Take my um, black liquid eyeliner and just do some really feline sharp flicks. So I'm going to start at the bottom corner of my outer lashes and wing it out as much as I can.
because I think with this you need quite voluminous lashes and to make it look really big. Charlotte Tilbury film star and glow palette and I'm just gonna let go and go crazy. area where I'm going to put the leopard spots so I think I might go with I want quite a matte brown as well so I'm going to use, I think I might actually use 
fat again just to achieve a little button nose. I'm going to do a toy now, so I'm going to do it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my top lip with black eyeliner but then the bottom lip is going to have like a nude uh, brown colour on there. some whiskers and some little dots splodges which are so easy to create as long as you've got you know a nice shade, nice shade of brown um, you know the eyeliner to go around it and stuff and it's just so simple um, I think this might be my favourite out of the three so um, stay tuned for the next look which is going to be a lot of fun to do because it's something that I, I'm kind of familiar with um, so I'll get cracking on that one and I'll see you for the next one Bye!